What's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duelist and Tekkeny doing a Vindred deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because this deck is an amazing zombie ritual deck that can easily OTK your opponent. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come find notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name in description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Revendred Slayer. This card is definitely a three out in the deck, one of our main boss monsters for the build. You can ritual summon this card with any Vindred ritual spell card, and once per battle, if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, quick effect, you can banish a zombie monster in the graveyard, and this card gains 300 attack points, which is an awesome effect just to help you boost this card's attack points so you can go in for game. This card also has the ability, if this ritual summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a ritual spell from your deck to your hand and if you do send a vindred monster from your deck to the graveyard which is an awesome ability to help you get the exact vindred you need in the graveyard we then play a single copy of battle lord battle lord is really good as a one of in the deck but you only need a single copy of this card this card is absolutely insane because if this ritual summon card is sent to the graveyard you get to add a ritual monster from your deck to your hand and if you do send a vindred monster from your deck to the graveyard but this card also has a really insane effect that you can banish a Vindred card from your graveyard and then declare a type monster spell or trap for then for the rest of the turn your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of that type helping you turn off the field so you can go in for game. We then play a single copy of Vindred Scavenger. Vindred Scavenger is an amazing boss monster for the deck, but again, you only need a single copy of this card because it's easily searchable in this build. And this card is really cool because this card has the ability during your main phase, Quake Effect, you can tribute one other zombie monster, and this card gains attack equal to the tributed monster's original attack points until the end of the turn, just making this card absolutely massive so you can swing in for game. This card also has an insane ability if you control a copy of Revendred Slayer, and this card's in your graveyard, you can special summon this card but banish when it leaves the field making it super easy to get you another boss monster on your side of the field so you can go in for game we can play a single copy of revendred executor executor is really good just as a one of in the build and this card is a really cool card because this card becomes a revendred slayer while on the field also while this ritual summon card is on the field your opponent cannot target you control with card effects except for this card and if this ritual summon card is destroyed by battle by opponent's card effect while this card is in your monster zone and add a Vindred card from your deck to your hand, which is a pretty cool effect to just be able to add the exact card that you need. I really like this card as a one of in the build because it does come out at 3,000 attack points, which is really good and it works well with a lot of the combos in the deck. We then play two copies of Scar of the Vindred. Scar is an amazing two of in the deck, but you only need two copies of Scar in this build. This card is usually if it's sent to the graveyard, you add a Vindred spell or trap from your deck to your hand. And if a monster on the field is tributed while this card's in the graveyard, you can actually banish one of their zombie monster from your graveyard and then special summon this card. And if you do, while it's face up in the monster zone, you cannot special summon monsters except for Vindred monsters, which is not that big of a deal as we can easily get it out of the way by using it for a ritual material. We then play a single copy of Revenants. Revenants is an amazing one of in the deck. has a really cool ability that your Vindred monsters there use this card as a material to be able to ritual summon on the field, gain the ability that once per turn, quick effect, you can try a special summon monster that your opponent controls and banish it. We can play a single copy of Hound Horde. Hound Horde is also really good as a one of in the deck. And if you use this card as a ritual material to be able to summon out one of your Vindred ritual monsters, they gain the effect that once per turn, quick effect, you can try to spell or trap your opponent controls and banish it. We can play a single copy of Striggs. Striggs is an amazing card in this deck, and I really like this card as a one of because this card has a really awesome ability that it gives your ritual monsters that use this card as a material a pretty cool ability that after damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can draw a card and then discard a card to help you get your ritual cards in the graveyard or your other zombie monsters that you might need. And I really like this card as a one of in the deck. We then play a single copy of Core. 
Core is really good in the deck, but you only need a single copy in the boom. This card is a pretty cool ability. If this card's in the graveyard, you can banish one of your zombie monster from the grave to special summon this card, but banish you when it leaves the field. And also, this card gives your Vendred monsters a bonus effect if you use this card as a material, as your opponent cannot target this card with card effects, which is a really cool effect. We then play a single copy of Anima. Anima is just really good in the deck as a one up, but again, I only feel like you need one each of all of the main deck Vendred monsters outside of your copy of Scar, because Scar is the best one. This card gives your Vendred monsters a bonus effect if you use this card as a material that you banish any monster destroyed by battle with this card, which is such a cool ability to give your mo ritual monsters that awesome buff. We're then playing a single copy of Al Ghul Mazra. Al Ghul Mazra is amazing in this deck because it can special summon itself back to your side of the field and also it helps protect your zombie monsters, which is really nice. Plus, it's a high level monster that you can easily use to go over your ritual plays. We then play three copies of Diviner of the Herald. Diviner is definitely a three of the deck because you can normally summon this card out to your side of the field and then send a copy of your Herald of the Arc Light from your Exhaq to the graveyard so you can search out a ritual spell or a ritual monster directly from your deck to your hand. But an awesome thing is when you send your copy of Herald of Arc Light from your Exhaq to the graveyard for this card's effect, this card will go to level six, which you can use this card plus a copy of your Slayer to be able to go in for Ultimaya to Zulkin, which is insane to be able to do so you can step into a copy of your Crystal Wing. So you can actually just establish and negate in this deck which is absolutely crazy to be able to do and just helps you go in for game but this card is really good because it helps you search out a ritual monster ritual spell by sending your copy of herald of arc light from the extract to the graveyard we then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's definitely a three out in the deck basically just to stop your opponent from touching the deck so that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is really good in this deck as one of to help you get the exact monster you want in the graveyard. We can play a single copy of Vindred Knights. Vindred Knights is an awesome field spell that has the ability to can discard a card to add a Vindred monster from your deck to your hand, which is an amazing ability to instantly grab the exact card that you need and also gives your Vindred monsters an extra bonus attack because this card has the ability that when your Vindred monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can banish a Vindred monster from your graveyard and it can attack an opponent's monster again in a row, helping you go in for game. We can play a single copy of Charge. Charge is really cool in the deck as a one of, but this card is the ability to send a zombie monster from your hand or face up from the field to the graveyard to special summon a Vindred monster from your deck, helping you get the exact monster you want on your side of the field. We then play two copies of Ravenous Vindrib. That Ravenous is really good as a ritual spell in the deck. This card lets you special summon a Vindrid monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard in face down defense system, except a copy of Revendrid or Vindrid Scavenger. Then you apply the following effect that you get to ritual summon any one Vindrid ritual monster from your hand or graveyard by tributing monsters that you control, including the monsters special summoned by this card's effect, whose total level equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster. Now, the card I usually summon off this card is Scar of the Vendred because it is a level 6 that you can summon directly from your deck to your side of the field. Then it'll touch the graveyard and search out a Vendred Rituals or Vendred Speller Trap, which is a great effect to be able to do. But this card is just amazing in the deck, but I feel like 2 is really all you need because it's so easy to get to. We can play two copies of Revendred Origin. Revendred Origin is really good as a two of in the build because this card actually mentions Revendred Slayer by name on this card, which is really important for this deck with your copies of free pre-preparation of rights. And it's just an amazing card overall to help you get the exact ritual monster you want on your side of the field. We can play three copies of Evolution. Evolution is such a powerful ritual spell and definitely a three of in the build because this card can be used to ritual summon any Vendred ritual monster from your hand or your graveyard but you must also tribute monsters from your hand field and or send a vendred monster from your deck to the graveyard whose total levels equal the levels of the ritual monster that you're trying to ritual summon and the ritual summon monster is destroyed during the end phase of the next turn which is the only downside of this card but usually when you're summoning out your monster you're just going in for the otk so this card is definitely a three up to help you summon out the exact monster you need we then play three copies of Preparation of Rights. 
Preparation of Rites is just really good in just about every ritual deck. This card lets you add a level 7 or lower ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Then you can add a ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand, which is a great effect so we can keep going in for our ritual plays. We also play three copies of Pre-Preparation of Rites. Pre-Prep is amazing in this deck. This card lets you add a ritual spell from your deck to your hand, then add a ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, whose name is mentioned on the ritual spell card, which is an awesome effect to be able to use, especially your copy of your Origin and your Scavenger, which is just really good to be able to work with Ravenous, to be able to search out your copy of Scavenger and Slayer with your copy of Origin, which is absolutely amazing. So... That's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're just going to be playing a few, starting off with Vendred Reorigin. Vendred Reorigin is really cool as a one-up in the build, because this card lets you tribute a, or target a face-up monster your opponent controls that has a level, and you tribute it, and if you do, special summon a Vendred token that's a zombie, dark, zero attack, and zero defense, with a level equal to the tributed monster's original level, and while the, tri while the token is special summoned by this effect is on the field, you cannot normally special summon monsters, except for Vendred monsters, which is totally fine because we're usually just going to use the monster for a ritual summon anyways so it just helps us out an opponent's monster we then also play three copies of infinite impermanence infinite impermanence is a great hand trap just to stop your opponent's monster effects and also lock down entire columns of spells and traps this card is an amazing three up in the build and just a really good hand trap overall so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with a Savior. Avenger and Savior is definitely a two of in the build. And this card is so cool to be able to summon out to your side of the field. As this card's name becomes Revenger Slayer while on the field. This card also has the ability that you can also, you can only use each of the following effects of this card once per turn. As you can target a Avenger card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. And during damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, quick effect, you can actually send a zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard and that opponent's monster loses attack equal to the level of the monster sent to the grave times 200 until the end of the turn, which is an awesome effect to send one of your zombie monsters directly from your graveyard like a copy of Al Ghul Mazra or one of your other ritual monsters that you want to bring back to your side of the field later. We then play a single copy of Access Code. Access Code is just really an awesome option in the deck that helps you OTK your opponent, because you can easily summon this card out to your side of the field, and it comes out absolutely massive and can pop multiple cards on the field. We play a single copy of Nightmare unicorn to spin stuff one copy of dynamundo because it is a ritual deck and this card is super easy to summon out to your side of the field and it has a really cool ability that during your opponent's turn quick effect you can trade this card and then target a ritual monster in your graveyard and either add it to your hand or special summon it which is an awesome effect to bring back your ritual monsters to your side of the field we then play a single copy of Vampire Sucker, because this card helps us draw a card. We then play a single copy of SP Little Knight to be able to spin cards off the field. And this card is insane to use as a double interruption. And it's just a really cool card overall to be able to summon out to your side of the field. But if you don't have this card, you can change that for like Nightmare Phoenix, since we are already playing Unicorn. We then play a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP is really good to be able to step into your copy of Little Knight or your copy of Unicorn during the opponent's turn. We then play a single copy of Flying Mary. Flying Mary is great in this deck. It helps you pop cards on the field it can bump itself to your back row as a continuous spell to be able to bring back a level five or higher zombie monster to your side of the field which is great to be able to work in this deck and this card is great also because it can target one of your level five or higher zombies and destroy a monster on the field that has less attack points than that level five or higher zombie which is a really cool ability we play a single copy of Typhon. Typhon's just a great option in just about every single deck. We play a single copy of Ultimaya to Zolkin. So Zolkin is very easy to summon this deck because we play a lot of level sixes in this build. And your copy of your Herald of the Arc Light, once you send your once you send your copy of Herald of Arc Light to the graveyard off Diviner's Effect, it will become a level six monster, making it super easy to step into your copy of Zolkin and then bring out a copy of Crystal Wing. We play a single copy of Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel is really easy to bring out to your side of the field as well. And if you use Light monsters your synchro monsters are, that you control are unaffected by monster effects activated by your opponent have used dark which you always will in this deck monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle and you don't even have to use a tuner to make this card and also spot removes card off the field when it's summoned 
And my single copy of Crystal Wing. Crystal Wing's just really good in the deck overall to be able to use as a walking negate, especially with their copy of Ultimate Zolkin being able to bring it out to your side of the field. We play a single copy of Omega just to get rid of cards out of our opponent's hand. And then finally play a single copy of Herald of the Arc Light. Now I did consider actually playing two copies of this, but if you don't have SP Little Knight, you can change it out for another copy of Herald of the Arc Light just to give you another option. But in playtesting, I only use this card once per duel. So it's a really good option to be able to play in the deck for your copy of Diviner, so you can search out the exact card you need, make it a level six, and stem to your copy of Ultimate Zolkin, so you can bring out Crystal Wing. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoy this deck. Vindred is such a fun deck to be able to play. If you guys have never played Vindred before, you should definitely give this deck a try because it's so fun to be able to play, and it's absolutely crazy how easy it is to be able to ritual summon out our boss monsters, and they look amazing. So that's gonna be for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can become part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.